Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas Pure Heart Crystal DLC. I'm Mysterious GG, and we're under attack by a mole rat. So I think we got this. <laughs> yep. That was a close one, folks. But we managed to deal with the danger. You know, this, um, this little bit of questing here has taken us, uh, taken us through a big, pe and, you know, there might be another plot thing up here somewhere, but we've explored quite a bit of this, uh, this small world after all. Uh, this DLC has said, and we might be closer to the end of this thing than I thought. I'm enjoying this DLC. It's got a little different flavor, uh, from the last one, but... We will see where this DLC takes us going forward. That young green gecko is empty, and I feel empty having cut off its short life. Game really makes you think, folks. Anyway. Uh, alright, so we have to get to the Zion Ranger Station, and it seems like we should have found it, uh, directly behind us, so, is that it? I guess this is it. I thought maybe this was, uh, I was, I was seriously thinking, oh, hey, it's the, uh, general store, but the general store is a little further down. Boy, they, they sure are right close to each other, though, look at this. That's the general store down there. So this is the Ranger Station. Yeah, the shadow of a ghost, exactly. That is totally what this is like. Leather belt. Wonder glue. Cases of ammo. Something else was in there, too. Yeah. Turlet. So, yeah, we're right close to being done with this quest. Uh, I'm going to switch... Wapits, uh, sniper rifle's been treating us really well, but I feel like we're about to go into... If we're fighting anything here, it'll be at close quarters. And we will be fighting something. It sounds like a mantis. No, it's a bark scorpion. Bark scorpion hunter! So... Just squeezing off multiple rounds was overkill. There's something else? Oh, you were swinging at something. Bark Scorpion Hunter is home slate. Stuff is still making like crawly roundy noises. You guys just in here laying a trap. This operation trick trap, well, it ain't gonna work. And it's do do tainted medical supply kit. Woo! This medical supply kit is mostly intact, but several of the sterile bandages have been broken open, and disinfectant bottle is leaking. You can try to salvage what's here, or you can find replacements for the contaminated components. Alternately, you can use alcohol to re-sterilize the bandages. Medicine 30 or greater. Uh, sterilize the kit with alcohol, salvage the medical supply kit, replace the contaminated components, take the incomplete medical kit with you. Well, which one is the best one? I, I have all the options. With some high proof alcohol, you could sterilize the kit rather than replace the components. I'll take the incomplete kit with me. If you don't have the parts or skill to make repairs in the field, you can take a contaminated medical supply kit to a campfire and salvage it there. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Simple enough. I did notice that recipe, after all. Let's take a nap, because, uh... I don't know how much uh, 
I don't know whether they needed sleep. The sleep meter hasn't been refilling, maybe because we're consuming things that have um, caffeine, but for reals, you still need to actually uh, to rest periodically. Let's save and just uh, force it. I'm sure that, I, and of course, we've got all the different alcohol that's needed. I just didn't carry it around with me. Sure, we'll bring all that with. Why not? So we've got foot lockers to open. Not containing anything of any great interest. Oh, you know, we should uh, do the same thing here. We'll just save and try to force it. The Ranger Station. Home of the Dark One. Yeah, that's why I saved. Want to prevent an enemy from fleeing? Cripple the legs. That is some very dark advice, game. Hey, we got black coffee. That's actually something that we would normally have to cook. We got crates full of awesomeness, including a rolling pin, which I took, but now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have bothered. Oh, well, there you go. That's all the alcohol we needed to sterilize. So if I'd looked at that first, we would have been good. You got some government issue ammo over there. Bobby pins. A pencil. Don't need that. I'm over encumbered and cannot run. So let's, uh. Let's enjoy a little water and, uh. Keep on going. The gecko steak and some water. Why not, man? We're living high on the hog. Ah, that's good. We might. Why do you care for these humans so much? You should destroy them all. Yeah, we uh, need to get going here, guys. We might have missed some loot. We didn't search real careful, but. <laughs> Back to the camp. Back to the camp, rather. So now we can fix this, the stuff and probably make uh, another caravan lunch now that we got more pork and beans. This is all sorts of awesome stuff we can do. Well, first thing we can do is make a uh, medical supply kit. I think it's a bunch of... Uh... Oh, we added a map marker, too. Brock flowers, we haven't had a lot of. Uh, healing poultice is probably better than healing powder. But I'm inclined to actually hold on to the Brock flower in case there's even better stuff we could be making with it. Oh, how do you make a caravan lunch? Let's, let's uh, figure that out real quick. Coffee. I like coffee. Oh, you need tobacco chew, so we don't really haven't been collecting all the ingredients we need anyway. Um, cram, instamash, lunchbox, pork and beans. Oh, we're out of cram? No. This is where I'm meant to be pulling from. Ah, uh, what are they called? Lunchbox. Yeah. We are over... What? Ah. 
Oh, what? That counted as stealing. So I guess all this time I've been using that, they just didn't notice? Yeah, he he left my he left me and they started attacking because I guess they just never noticed me actually using that before. Okay, well. Jeez, guys, you know I kind of thought you were okay with it because I've been doing it a lot and I thought I was doing it in front of you so you could see. But I guess not. Well, it's a little late now. All right, let's uh put away the stuff that we're not going to use. See, this is an interesting one. It makes you thirsty, makes you slightly less hungry, a lot less sleepy, and does give you some hit points back, and it gives them back instantly. And it makes you smarter. Now we picked up a few things that I don't need. Um, I guess not as many as I thought. I thought we picked up a bunch of... Oh, maybe it was during our last little visit that we picked up a bunch of uh, food items. Yeah, you can count those all. Wasteland tequila. Wasting away you get... Alright, that's enough of that. Oh, that's right. It was the, these types of things we picked up. The uh, crafting ingredients. Okay. Um, I pick up weapons I don't need? No. So now I decided I needed to get, um, three crams, three insta mashes, which is all that I actually have, so that actually worked out pretty good, and, uh, three lunch boxes, and hopefully not get attacked. Yeah, now why does it suddenly count as losing karma? And guy was watching me. It never counted as losing karma before. Why would that suddenly change? Well, there's our experience boost. Is there now a pot that we... Like, if there's something we were allowed to use, that would be fine. Deliverer of Sorrows. Well, you know, other than the fact that we're carrying around caravan lunches, I think we're good with not interacting with this thing again. And uh, causing more trouble for all involved. Let's switch back to our uh, sniper rifle. Because it's pretty much the weapon we want to use when we think we can get the drop on stuff. But we've got to be careful. We're down to 187 uh, ammo. So what's our current quest? I mean, it's called Carrier of Sorrow or whatever, but... Bring the supplies you've gathered to Daniel in the Narrows. Oh, you know, I would have gone and met Daniel before we had the supplies if I had known that was the thing. I didn't. That's okay. We know now. Uh, maybe he'll actually have a frickin' clay pot that he'll allow us to use without trying to kill us. That's a, a ways off, isn't it? Alright. Well, let's, uh... Let's fast travel up there. But we already know the, uh... This is like the land of the evil dudes, so... I have a feeling that our last big triumphant battle of this DLC will be over there, and we've already found it, so... We won't have a lot of traveling to do.
Well, look at this fast travel, most of it. Okay. Hold on one second, folks. Sorry. Be right with you. Okay. Uh, so we are there. I guess, um... I was hoping to start finding more of you guys. The baby bear actually brutally murdered. No, uh, what we need to do then is um, get that stuff out of that clay pot in their village that's owned. And just uh, our home base is going to be um, some place that has a campfire, some kind of container we're allowed to use, and a bed. Problem being that we haven't actually found some place like that yet. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get moving. Are you still with me back there? Yeah. We should get moving and uh, keep an eye out for opportunities to find a scenic vista. Big Horner Bull is hostile. Vaguely thinking we should try not to fight it. Yet, yeah, oh, you are attacking. You are a Yao Guai cub. You don't look like a cub. Animal control perk rank three. Circle and a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel. So that guy's okay. Um, for the first time in a while, I've taken some damage. It's Cheva Guarache. I don't speak Spanish. I don't pretend to speak Spanish. So. For the benefit of anybody out there who's shocked by the way I pronounce names in Dynasty Warriors or Samurai Warriors, I can't pronounce the Spanish names either. Did I just go completely the wrong? No, no, no. Still going this way. Geronimo. Turns out Geronimo wasn't uh, actually the name of the uh, Native American guy. Um, not really sure exactly where the term comes from, but the the guy that we think of as Geronimo, that wasn't actually the proper proper term to use for him. I don't think it was like an intentionally insulting term used by the white man or anything. It just isn't his actual real tribal name. Fighting crime in a future time. You're pretty resilient. They're getting shot in the back multiple times and... Limberjack, Limberjack, who's an naughty boy then? God, you did I already get you as well. No, I didn't. Uh, now what I found this was it the dog that was with that guy or no? It's another one of those guys. Well, we definitely got the high ground. Oh, a young green gecko. I might just let him go after this pain maker, dude. Maybe I'll just ignore all of them now that I've got the map point that I was looking for. Yeah, you're more what I'm interested in killing. Fuck. 
finally. <laughs> You're a little screwed, buddy. You might want to just try to find some cover. There's a glitch of some kind. I'm um, now close enough to actually fight you. <laughs> so you think you're a pain maker, huh? I made sure to cripple both your legs before killing you. What do you think of that? Would that make you happy? Got some neat stuff on him. And there's another one of those guys around here somewhere that we could loot, but... Oh, White Lake Mongrel, okay. There he is. Whoa! Gave me a bit of a scare. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to looting this, uh... This fellow over here now. That's who they were murdering, the bastards. And here's another guy they were murdering. Boy, yeah, like they said, our dead horse uh, allies are... Uh, they're not warriors, they are politicians! No, they're not warriors, they're hunters. Uh, sort of related skill sets in some ways, but not interchangeable, as we've seen. Um, and they're not faring well when they come into contact with the white legs. So anything we can do to help them out, we probably should. Although up to this point, it's been pretty rare for me to successfully rescue them once they get themselves in trouble. Is that some place that we've spotted? No, that is probably a, uh, a location that will get us a little minor experience boost for discovering it, though. Let's head on over. Yeah, there's some uh, empty bottles floating around. And we need some water anyway. Well, what do you know? We're not actually getting experience for discovering this. But we are uh, being stalked by something hostile. Are we? No, this isn't something that uh, we've previously marked on a map. Sorrows Fork Campground. The saddest campground on Earth. Make some dog steaks. Make some uh, homebrew. I don't think I'll bother with that for right now. Cactus water is good, though. Oh, bark scorpions. Or oh, just bark scorpion that kind of glitched out. Blasted you right into a wall. Unless I decide to go back way earlier in the game and start uh, making a uh, rad scorpion casserole, I can probably don't need to worry too much about collecting all the glands from those guys. There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip big squares on a table. Yes, there can. Okay, just drop it. I like to find some like clean, well-pressed pre-war business wear. Man, for a second I thought I'd set off a trap. All right, let's get back on track here. Actually, it's almost time to call it a video, isn't it? So I'm thinking um, the p the plants that I don't have enough of are probably the ones where I don't 
notice what they look like and therefore don't collect them when we see them. This, this is, uh, there's bro Brock flowers I should be looking for. Yeah, there you go. So when I find stuff like that, I should be collecting them. Because I've probably missed quite a few. It's okay, folks. We'll be alright. Now I'm on the lookout for them, and suddenly they seem to be everywhere, so that's cool. We just left a campground where we could have used them in one of our recipes, but I think there's other recipes that call for it that I might like even better than that one. So there's probably a reason I didn't just make a whole bunch more homebrew uh, Nuka Cola or whatever it was I could make. This feels. Feels like a great place to be ambushed, too. My ambush instincts are. Uh, well, they're kind of tingling a little bit. But we'll see what's going on uh, next time. Uh, so, call on a video, and when we come back, further exploration of. Sorrow's territory. I mean, if anything else, the guys who would ambush us here are our allies. Or the people who would potentially have an ambush set up here, not for us, but for someone else. We shouldn't be ambushed by the white legs here, but I guess we'll see. Serious GG, thanks for watching. See you next time with more of Honest Hearts.